and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on. For a rotation proof deck here, we have Simic Yoink. It's finishing up our rotation proof Monday. This is something I'm going to be doing for each Monday in August as we look towards rotation that's going to happen at the end of September, probably sometime around September 24th-ish um, on Arena. What, what rotation is is four sets. Uh, right now, there's currently eight sets legal and standard. The first four of those are going to be rotating out, and they will not be legal anymore. Uh, after September, we're only going to be left with Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Core Set 2020 to go along with Throne of Eldraine. So whenever Throne of Eldraine releases, those five sets will be the only ones that will be legal and standard. So Core Set 2019, um, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, and Ixalan, those ones will all be leaving the format. So something that I've been asked quite a bit is to build, not necessarily to build, but people really want uh, decks that are rotation proof. I hear that all the time. Um, and so that's what I'm doing this month, each Monday. I'm making four decks. Um, so it'll be 16 total with the four weeks. I'm making four decks that will be rotation proof. And you see the four decks we've started with today. Our last one here is Simic Yoink. Now you may notice there is one card though I'm making an exception. There's only one card I'm making an exception throughout all of the sets is Llanowar Elf. Llanowar Elf is just, it really is too good not to play right now. If you're going to be playing Arena in like the next seven weeks, and even if you're trying to build ro rotation proof deck, just put Land War Elves in your deck. It's a common. Just just craft them. If you don't have them, you'll be happy you have them. Just just get Land War Elves in your deck. If you are really really against having Land War Elf in your deck, though, then what the thing to do is I think you, you should just play a Boreal Grazer in this deck. We do have the twenty six lands, um, so I think you can get get away with a Boreal Grazer. I do I do not recommend playing a Boreal Grazer with any less than twenty six lands in any deck. Um, you may want to just go three grazer and get a 27th land in here. Honestly, that's something that's an option as well. Um, but honestly, just play the land where elves. It's better. Just do that. Um, okay. So besides that, everything else is good to go here. Um, if, if you are looking just to upgrade the deck also, if you, if you don't mind it not being rotation proof, you know, you can get uh, Hinchland Harbor instead of Thornwood Falls is certainly going to be better for you if you're playing Hintel and Harbor. But, you know, that's that's a rare, and I under, understand if you don't want to use the rare rare land on that. Um, but I, I think maybe you get, like, one one of those rare lands in, in like, one of the starter decks, maybe. Um, so you can, like, put one of them in there. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, what, the rest of what our deck is doing is we're ramping. We're trying to ramp really hard with our 12 mana creatures. Risen Reef helps us ramp. Nissa, of course, is like the best ramp spell. And then we have like Cavalier Thorns also. Like these help us ramp a lot. Also, try to get a whole bunch of mana. And we are taking our opponent's awesome creatures and planeswalkers with mass manipulation. So we're a Yoink deck. That's what we're doing. We're trying to steal their manipulations. Steal their creatures and planeswalkers with our manipulations. There we go. That makes more sense. That's what we're doing. The the Thornwood Falls just aren't very aren't like really that great of lands, but we just have to play them because we need a lot of green sources for all these mana creatures, and we need a whole lot of blue sources for these manipulations being quad blue. So we have to try to play as many blue sources as we can. So that's why we're chilling over here with the seventeen, um, which is as most most as we got. Um, Tamio just does a good job of like rebuying manipulation after you steal a whole lot of things, um, or going and trying to find manipulation or find crisis. Um, you know, Tam that's what Tamio's job is here, uh, basically rebuy manipulation. Um, but yeah, so as far as sideboard goes, um, Scapeshift is an awesome deck, and Scapeshift just makes a whole bunch of two twos and way way too many two twos for us to steal. They don't have other good targets to steal. Scapeshift's going to be a, a tough matchup in general, um, especially we don't really deal with Planeswalkers besides stealing. So like they can just play Little Teferi, tick up, and then Scapeshift on our end step when we lose. So I'm trying the full four Ashioks in the sideboard for that matchup in particular, seeing if that's if that plus the negates are going to be good enough. Um, we could also be playing Frilled Mystic as another option to be playing in the sideboard. Um, if you want to cut down on Aether Gust or Thrashing Brontodons, um, you know, we can you could fit Frilled Mystics in the sideboards as well if you want more things there. But of course the counter spells aren't going to really work against Little Teferi. 
Uh, I do have a bunch of either Gus in here and Bronsodons. I think red could be a tough matchup for us because we don't have a whole lot of early defense and everything. We're a little slow, so... You know, we got these against the red decks. Ether Gust is also very good against the other Nissa decks. Um, Brontodon uh, can destroy uh, Experimental Frenzy and also just block really well, get really well against the red decks. Uh, it did get reprinted at M20, as you can see. It was originally an Ixalan card, but it did get reprinted. Um, so I'm using the M20 version <laughs> here. Um, also, just fine against, you know, enchantment decks like Nexus and that kind of stuff. And we got some Vela Summas. Anyway, this is our deck, Simic Yoink. Let's get these games going. So with these rotation-proof decks, I'm taking them through the traditional constructed queue where we spend our 1,000 gold, see if we can get to five wins before two losses. So far, three has been the most wins we've gotten. No, Crafty Cup Purse was in Ixalan. So that's, that's rotating out, so we don't have any cut purses in here. All right, let's see how we do. So like I mentioned before, I am going to be making 16 Nexus. Did I choose the wrong deck? I guess I did, huh? I chose some other Simic deck. Good game. <laughs> Thought that was rotating. Simic turns. Wrong Simic deck. Oh no, I don't want to just exit the game. I just want to quit that league. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm a mess. <laughs> Nexus confirmed not rotation proof. <laughs> so what happens when it's the end of the night, last league. You never know what can happen. Okay, so we're going to play this. I'm going to resign. Claim my prize. That was not much of a prize. And now we're going to play here. We're going to pay our 1,000 gold. We're going to do Bant Ramp. That's not the right one. Simic Yoink over here. Okay. We found it. We found the deck. Those other two decks are Nexus decks, and so they, they're at like the bottom of your decks like whenever you're looking in your collection, but then whenever you hit start a, a match, it, they suddenly pop up to the top of the collection. And so they kind of get in the way. Yeah, Agent of Treachery could have a place in the deck. That was one that I was considering also, but didn't end up playing it. Um, I think it would probably be more of a sideboard thing. Like ma matchups that stealing stuff is really good or like really slow matchups, you know, get it in the sideboard and bring it in, but... I thought that those matchups we'd be are we'd already be okay against anyway, so I didn't end up having it in the sideboard. Yeah, you can steal Field of the Dead, which that's definitely good. Um, but yeah, I talked about like Ether Gust, Brontodon. Those cards aren't spectacular, so th you could definitely find a slot or two with those if you want to play an Agent of Treachery. There, I'm. I don't hate that. Some people don't like manipulation. We are playing the fastest matches. Some, pe some people really don't like the Yoink decks. <laughs> so I need to make this deck now. <clears throat> I mean, we... 
We we won that match really fast, but it was not as fast as we lost the other match. Yeah, Cavalier Thorns is really strong. It's an it's a really good card. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, maybe we didn't get to ten wins that fast. <laughs> ten and zero. Our opponent cast Thought Erasure, and now we're ten and zero. We don't cast anything. <laughs> now just want to know. I hope they have a whole lot more Thought Ragers over there. No, that's the one that we keep on top, but that's going to get Thought Ragered away. Gain a life. Better than Hinterland Harbor would be right now. You know what? The Hinterland War is so strong, got to hit it with three damage. That's right. So yeah, I could do like the whole forest thing and play Leaf Kin Druid afterwards. Well, we wouldn't even be able to now. But I kind of want to save the Leaf Kin Druid because if we draw Risen Reef. I want to go Risen Reef, then Druid. Yeah, the Grick. Yeah, the Grixis one that we played yesterday, sign up. Yeah, that's up on YouTube. My videos go up on YouTube immediately. Gotcha. Yeah, like yesterday, yesterday we played a Grixis mid range that that actually felt really good. Um, Grixis Control, the last time I played that, I haven't played Grixis Control in a little bit. God Eternal Oketra? That card's unbeatable. It's been a little bit since I played, um, Grixis Control. But yeah, no, Grixis does feel to be in a good spot. The last few times I played Gr Grixis, either control or mid range, they've felt good, because I think Grixis can handle Scape Shift and can handle Vampires, and Scape Shift and Vampires are the two biggest decks. We need to move quickly. All right, hoping to draw Mass Manipulation. It's just not even worth it to play Leaf Kindred, though. Sure, it gets Thought Erasured away, but it's just not worth it to play it because of, like, it's just going to be better with Risen Reef. It's a little bit of odd sequencing. I don't know why Hero wasn't the play before... Thought Erasure. Unless they had like something else that maybe they wanted to do.
Do I even want to play Veil of Summers and Negates? I think I kind of just want to draw better. We drew horrific there. I think I kind of just want to draw better. I don't even know if I want to sideboard these things. The problem with playing Veil of Summers and Negates is like Little Teferi. Could just brick these and make them not, not do anything. I'll play them. I'll, I'm just going to cut the Leaf King Druids. And play some of those. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Definitely be better, of course, Hinchland Harbor here, but that's fine. We'll be able to play a Paradise Druid on turn two and play the Falls untapped. It would be nice to have the Veil of Summer available <clears throat> to be able to get a potential Thought Erasure on turn two. But this is the life we live here with playing our rotation proof deck. Okay, well, now we're good. Make it seem like we tried to attack. And it didn't work out. Attack. I'm already dead if they have Kai's Wrath anyway, so might as well just play another Land War Elf. No, they don't have Legion's End. Yeah, the negate, negates and uh, Veil of Summer did definitely did some work there. And we get stopped. Uh, so let's talk about earlier. The blue sources are tough. Island. Darn. Yeah, that, that is an option. Incubation Druid instead of Land War Elf. As a card that doesn't rotate and helps blue mana. But I would... If 
you're thinking about spending rare wild cards on incubation druids or common wild cards on land war elves, get the land war elves. Land war elves is definitely better. Yep, good old blue tap land. <laughs> if you show remorse, I don't worry. I got this. Oh, old blue tap land here. Okay. So we could take one, two, three. We could take three things if this resolves. Good chance it doesn't resolve. Doesn't resolve. Maybe our next one will be even better. See? Yay, they didn't mine us. I've got they didn't get rid of the Paradise Druid. Bounce this hero. I kind of just bounce one of these one ones. I've got it. We yoinked. Hey, hey, Perry Grip. What's up? Thanks for that resub there. All right, that's sub number sixteen on the day too. Thank you later. That's more like it. Darn. Why guard mage over hero? Because I can't block guard mage. My guard mage is just going to be killing me. Huh. Didn't it's attack there. What a strange and magnificent world. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, that's worth it. I really should have seen that coming. Okay. Ugh. We don't have to worry about Thought Erasure because Tamio means with Tamio they can't make us discard, but obviously they can attack Tamio first. <laughs> Oops. Dude, these, these Planeswalker passive abilities are just ridiculous. I forget about them all the time, too. Everybody forgets about all of them. <laughs> like, 
They're just ridiculous. You know, whether it's like drawing cards with Narsets or... Fight on without me. When they still got rid of Nyssa. Interesting. And then Hero? Just play the Hero first. You get more tokens. Just do it. Yeah, Little Teferi just kind of wrecks us, because Little Teferi, really good against these things. And then Little Teferi just, you know, bounces whatever we, we steal with manipulation also. But of all. Nice, bias green, good job. Glad to hear it. Glad you're enjoying the teamer elementals. Cool. We need to rise. The reefs need to rise. It's still 60 weeks until little Teferi rotates. It's a lot of a lot of weeks. like lands, but I think we can get rid of that one. My arrow bells, my bro, I usually do win, usually do one win every four or five games, but today, thanks to arena and deck building, I, I made everything. combo I learned, Only managed to do promise. three and three. Nice. Then he got mad because I was only... Because I suppose it's only copying from the game. <laughs> but good job. Risen Reef. Ooh, gain a life. Strictly better than Hinchland Harbor. Sure. So I guess it's going to be mass manipulation. I could see Nyssa, honestly. Yeah, they go Nyssa. That's fine. We'll see if they take the Nissa from our hand. I must go. Ah, oh, they did. They took the Nissa from hand. Darn. Meditate and prepare. So I think it's better just to play the Cavalier of Thorns this turn, because the next turn I can go Risen Reef plus Tamiyo. And, like, Tamiyo can get back the Risen Reef that dies to the Othakaya also. Gain a life. That's not good for us. Hmm. That's not good. That's not bad. It's not great. Basically, just steal hero. Should I just make a 6 6 crisis? I think so. Oh, wait. Stupid Narset. Bleh. Narset. Maybe it is just this card. Keeps them from making more 1-1s. One they just killed the Narset. Uh, manipulation in our graveyard is not so bad for Tamiyo. You know, I, I can just rebuy it with Tamiyo. 
And sure, they, they kill my hero, that's fine. Uh, this is Disclosure is the band, and this is White Noise is the name of the song. What? They didn't attack? There's no attacks over there. <laughs> All three Risen Reefs have hit. These Thornwood Falls have gained a life. We've just gained this four life. Thornwood Falls. Such violence is upsetting. It's kind of a waste of that card. They could have just attacked earlier. Alright, I'm pretty sure we got this game. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. No tail should be discarded. So, of course, I don't want to block with Risen Reef. Um. To the library. Darn. So I just I held the five six back for a turn there, but I'm gonna be attacking with the five six now. So we'll be playing the crisis. I was planning on doing land Paradise Druid there, but. Oh, yeah, we did have a full house. That's true. Now we got. Wow, we have even better than a full house now. We had. We had two three of a kinds and a pair. I... Well, I guess the Krasis found these. So no, no, we didn't. So we had. We have two pairs and a three of a kind. That's pretty good. <laughs> Fuller house. Lelder spell. More data will be needed. <laughs> Yoink. Too many cards in hand. Now I'm going to minus. All right, Simic Yoink, two and zero. Guess we didn't really play the first match, but still, record book says two wins. <laughs> Good old yoink. Yeah, now 11 and 0. That's right, we were 10 and 0 at one point. Ugh. That's true. <laughs> yoink is a good word. It's a fun one to say. Yoink. Oh no, a mirror match. Mirror match. Oh no. 
They're reefing better than we are. Do they not play a land? Got all spells? That just oops all spells over there? Ooh, gain life land. Always getting those. I would like this Yoink card right study. here, please. I have learned much from my ancestors. I would like one yoink card. <laughs> Steal the reefs. Steal the reefs. It's like, what are they supposed to do? Are they supposed to play Nissa, Krasis? Like any, like you know, they play any of their cards. They just know I'm yoinking them. You can't play like a Nissa here. <laughs> Omega yoink incoming. Not swing with the five six. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna protect Tamio here. I don't think that, that damage matters too much. All right, that's perfectly fine. So, yeah, just get back Risen Reef, right? Gosh, we're gonna just get so many cards. <clears throat> All right, how much can we actually yoink for? All right, fine. Tamio's dead. So one, two, three, Our four, five. Plus four is nine. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 means I could yoink five things. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Your cards have been yoinked. All right, so now they're gonna Nissa and have like a whole bunch of mana with a big crisis. Like we're not, this game's not over yet, but we're gonna draw five cards with Risen Reef and then like a lot more cards with this thing. Argos. That's a vicious. Watcher right there. We'll see if we get another Yoink spell. Gain a life. Yoink. We can still yoink for three, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we can. Oh wait, the, yeah, the Gargos is gonna kill all my stuff. The 
Scargos is pretty good. All right, they get to kill three Risen Reefs. But we're still taking their stuff. Still probably fair. We're still probably in a, in a good spot. Yeah, if we got to keep, if we got to keep Gargos with <laughs> that crisis would have been huge. Through this land, we are all connected. That's true. Reef could be a self mill issue. That's very fair. The land fights for us. We probably have enough reefs over here still. That's a cool forest. I haven't seen this forest in play yet. I guess that's from the the uh, event, you know, the, the event that's just from this week right now. I haven't seen that one in play yet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Magic is so silly. <laughs> so they're at 17 life. So I'll have to have 18 power. Yeah, can they make a bigger one? So that's 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, uh, they're... That's 17, then untapping a land, that's 19. So they're one short. Be wary of the ground you walk on. If they have, like, Voracious to, like, kill my Hydroid Crisis. So, yeah, they make a 17, 18 Voracious Hydra. They're one short. That's why we went all out. They're... There. Because I think that's that's definitely what they want to do, is they wanted Voracious Hydra to kill this, to kill my Hydra Crisis. Yeah, they're one short. Double the counters. <laughs> 34, 35. That's awesome. Not fail. Yoink. Uh, I want to keep mine. Mine's cool. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's silly. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we stole their lands and everything. We just yoinked the, the whole battlefield there. No attacks. <laughs> that is a yoink right there. All right, so they're going to have Vela Summer. And it's going to be sad. They're gonna they're gonna try to be Veil of Summering. They probably have negates also. 
<laughs> that legit was a sparky game. <laughs> it ended up like one. Um... I don't think I want negates though. I mean, I just want these ether gusts, but I don't know what else. I don't know what I'm taking out. I just trim leafkin druids. I don't know. Leafkin druids were good for us. Like, this is definitely a matchup where you want them. You want as much ramp as you can. I mean, this is this is the kind of match that's like a gold fishing gold fishing matchup. I honestly don't know what to take out. I mean, I could take out Tamios. don't think I take out these things. Yeah, Cavalier Ramps is good. All right, one Leafkin, one Cavalier, one Tamio. Let's trim those. No, never. You never cut Land War Elf. No, any matchup at all. No, not today. Random sign up. Just doing the our rotation proof decks today. Oh, boots. <laughs> oh, man. That was a bad joke. I had to quit my job crushing pop cans today. It was so depressing. Pressing. Uh, so depressing. Wow. I should scry first here. Oh, never mind. Still, still good. I'm gonna say like maybe scry first to like make sure we hit that land off of the risen reef. Six green mana there if they want to play like a voracious hydra or something. Yep. So doing this draw step so they don't get to activate Nissa, you know, won't be their their turn, and uh, it'll be after they draw, so they'll just draw that Nissa again next turn. But at least it's gone for this turn. Attack! No, no attack! Attack! No attack! Ah, 
I, how this played out, I definitely regret getting rid of the manipulation instead of the ether gust. How this played out. Lesson learned, I should just keep the manipulation there. All right, we'll be on the play here. I'm taking out two of these either, Gusp. Getting, getting our ramp back in. Oh man, so many puns here in chat now. I like them. Mulligan. Mind Virus. Getting that gifted sub from Santa Boot. There we go, everybody get those hype boats in the chat. Hope you enjoy your awesome emotes there, Mind Virus. And that is sub number 17. So if you are also enjoying the stream today, you want to help us get to 20 subs on the day, click that sub button. You get all access to all those awesome emotes. So do I just get rid of this and just go turn two Leafkin, do nothing on three? This is like the card I'd want to play on three. I guess I do that. I guess this time I actually do this because I I have something I need to do on turn three. I'll gain a life first. We'll scry turn three because then you know we'll have more information about what our hand looks like and what we want to see. Yeah, you could re replace the Nissa with um, another Tamio or. Um, Hey, worked out. Or a voracious Hydra. Works as well. A lot of things. You can kind of replace it with whatever you want. Aw, oh, Elijah gifting out the sub as well. Everybody keep those hype boats going. Walker Paranor. Welcome to the stream. All right, two subscribers away now. Oh, looks like we got there. Whoop, one. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much, Elijah. Oh, so many good cards we just put in our graveyard. Santa Elijah, gift him out. So that gets us to Shin, Sational, and Endramos also. Witness the ties that bind us all. Behold, nature's Come on, draw a land deck. Draw a land. Yeah. We get to do two now. Take this and this. Yoink. The land fights for us. Yoink. I think it's very likely the next set will have good dual lands. It's I mean they're gonna have rare rare lands and yeah, like so like there will be Better than the gain life lands. 
100%, they'll be better than gain life lands. All right, we're 3 and 0. <laughs> the the yoink, the yoink level in this deck are off the charts. We did yoink very well that match. We did yoink really well. I could see filter lands being reprinted. I could see that. Yeah, shocks and checks are like as good as you get in standard, basically. And so, yeah, we're a little spoiled with that because the scry lands are definitely good. Mm. We're on the play. We have a scry to get to the third mana for this. And then I'm like trying to have like four mana for like crisis, like a two two crisis, draw a card, try to keep hitting some land drops, a bigger crisis. I'm probably ditching manipulation here if I keep this. And just going Risen Reef and then chaining Crasises together. And drawing a lot more cards that way. It seems like it's probably a, can win a game of standard. Do gotta find that other land though. Hmm. It's not ideal for a 26 land deck. Well, so much for my plan. Yeah, this is the Nissa sleeve. Um, it should just be available in the store for for either gems or gold. Fighter says 600 gems there. Yeah, you should be able to just buy it in the shop. That's a good one. What card am I happy to see rotate out? Um, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, Scapeshift. Probably Scapeshift is number one on that list right now, to be honest. Um... Nexus, of course. That's kind of about it. Looks like we're playing against Grixis midrange. I wonder if this is just the list that I, you know, that I played yesterday and everything. I've, I'm not one that's ever minded mono blue or, or Simic Flash. I've always, I never mind those kind of decks. I don't. Um, Your Hydra's deck is pretty sweet, Kobe Bryant. Let me aid your research. I had some just real good draws and you know real good hands two of those times. M Mass manipulation is a messed up card. Uh, this is this is a card that I don't like that was printed. I'm not a big fan of this card. You know it's in our deck and everything, but still just not a big fan of the card. my opponent have a Tamiyo? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I want a Tamiyo. The past is never forgotten. Thank you. I want Tamiyo.
This card is pretty mean. <laughs> More like Tammy Yoink. <laughs> I question this outcome. Tammy Yoink. All right, block, Krasis, block. I was hoping when, like, with playing the Krasis there to find an untapped land so I can have, I would have manipulation for two. That hasn't quite happened here. Yeah, this this could be my Grixis midrange list. Could be. No. There went my untapped lands. I guess Nissa's kind of great, though. Um, can I Nissa and manipulate? Yes. All right, so I need four blue. Gosh, it's so much blue. So I need one, two, three, four. No, I cannot Nissa and manipulate. Yeah, I could just just manipulate the just take the thief and play Lanor Elf. No, nah, I'm just gonna play this thing. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Nature's true power. I have other schemes to attend to. It's a lot of pressure to be someone named Nissa who shakes the world. Can't handle the manipulation there. <laughs> Nissa thought she was special, but she's just a plain walker. All right, druids out, veil and negate in. Yeah, they knew about the the manipulation in hand that I tamioed back, and so they knew I was going to be manipulating there, so they didn't have anything. Yeah, they knew they were getting yoinked. Ugh. Not no. There's there's a lot of cards that don't have alternate art, but in this deck, the tap lands are about it. But there's there's a lot of cards that don't have these card styles. In general, less than you know, it's it's less than half pretty easily of the cards have them. But they try to pick out like a lot of the the most used cards in standard. Darn it, I thought it was duress. I was hoping to draw some mana creatures to kind of fill out this curve here. Didn't exactly do that. Yet. With that scry land. Hoping to, but. Ow.
Ow. find my notes helpful Pretty good. Make the multiverse in my image. Pretty good, pretty good. I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. Never ending? Takes up so much time. I think I need to take this because I need the blue mana. You know, it cost me two life. The storied past holds our future. Because I think I'm dead to the Night of the Ebon Legion. Any, like. If I don't have Veil of Summer to protect the Cavalier, I think the Knight of the Ebon Legion kills me because Nicol Bolas kills Cavalier. All they need is a land, and then this thing is 9 power. So yeah, like, like Bolas killed my Cavalier, pup 9, I'm dead. So I'd, I think we got to take... So I need to grab the Forest or the Breeding Pool, and I think like I'm going to take pay 2 life, basically, to just take the Breeding Pool here. This does leave me dead to like to cast down though. But yeah, we were yep, we were definitely dead. Otherwise. Ah, the Evil Legion. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy card. I just played a 5-6 and the one drop is just trouncing it. So grabbing the Paradise Druid to have another blocker. Uh, Nickel Bulls is so devastating. Power. 
If I if I would have just got rid of the Tamiyo, or if I would have got just got rid of the temple, I would have just had Tamiyo grab a temple back. It's not exactly helping me out there. Really like how Paradise drew its hexproof here for chump blocking. Blue source. So I can get rid of a land, and I still have the manipulation for two available. But then if they have a counter spell, I lose. I could get rid of the crisis, and then I have manipulation for two plus Vela Summer. I think that's my route. I outsmarted you eons ago. Fortunately, not of the Evil Legion is lethal, so we're going to have to minus the Nickel Bolas. We don't get to tick it up to put it to eight. Yoink. We're not dead now. I expect more dragon gods in our opponent's hand. <laughs> but then, yeah, next turn we can. Tamio. No, don't kill my nickel bolus. I will return. Yep. Just had a bunch of removal. Honor to meet you. I follow the tracks of the wise. 
No, the gain life land. You don't get to put it in land war elf. So what am I taking up for? All the Cavaliers are gone. That's two, three Krasis are gone. So there's only one Krasis left. There's two Manipulation, three Nyssa. So three Nyssa, two Manipulation. So it's just more likely that we hit Nyssa. So we'll just say Nyssa. I'm happy with either one. All right, well, we didn't see either. Feature! Thanks so much for that resub there. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, Tamio was at two loyalty. Couldn't couldn't tick down. Couldn't tick down there. I guess that gets us towards. Now I can tick down. So I can tick down and grab. They're not another Tam I guess there wasn't another Tamio. I was thinking I could like tick down, grab Tamio, play play new Tamio minus again. But I guess there was another Tamio. But ooh, got there. That was a close one. Mass manipulation still messed up. That's what we've learned so far with this league. That card is messed up. Alright, we're four now. That means that we are on our final boss. Everybody get those final boss emotes in the chat. Here we go. See if we can get to that five win. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thanks everybody for the kind words on the well played game there. That was a tough one. That paradise, keeping that paradise druid looked pretty clutch. We saw all that removal in our opponent's hand. Looks like we were dead if we didn't keep Paradise Druid there. And it worked out getting rid of Krasis and keeping the lands and having manipulation with Veil vale somewhere worked out. Yep, final boss with extra life. Other than Jace, what are other good cards to stop yourself from milling out with Reef and Krasis? I don't know if there are any other good ones, honestly. There are bad ones. Nexus. Nexus is a good one. That's that's definitely a good one. Azure! Yeah, Guy's Blessing is kind of a bad one, but it can work a little bit. Thanks for sticking on that four-month streak, Azure. Final boss first form is Reanimator. Down, 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 down. Classic thought seize bug. Or thought erasure bug. What they take a Tamio? Well, how many Tamios do you have in your deck? There's only two? Well, I'm sure your other Tamio is gonna be on top out of fifty two cards. Since they took one. Which is kind of how that works. Everybody knows it. I mean, I really just want land. Still play this thing, though. Every story is an opportunity they don't get a thought erasure me. Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. Maybe I should have said Risen Reef. Not Cavalier Thorns was good, though. So one Cavalier of Thorns, because you know, cost five mana, but we are gonna be able to like mine it we're gonna be minusing the Tamio the next turn to grab a land back. Even if we didn't draw the land. Oh, attack first. Oh no, they wanna actually never mind, they actually want to do that. Never mind. Alright, what do you do? Scholar of the Ages. That's you could use some mana. That's a pretty high bar. I don't know if we're there yet, but anyway. ETB, return two target instant or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. Of the ages? Like, 
Like nobody's talking about this scholar. This is just of the ages. No tail should be discarded. Not convinced. I That's all. Be wary of the ground you walk on. All right, there's the blood for bones. They got another scholar of the ages. I animated the forest land because it adds two mana so that the two mana I could uh, cast Paradise Druid. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Like, do I even want to yoink these things? I can yoink everything. We're gonna just play a really big crisis. To the library. Rise, my elemental friend. They gotta be doing something better than just Scholar of the Ages, right? They're going through this. Like, are they going, like, Agent of Treachery, maybe? There's Agent of Treachery, yep. Very treacherous. The land shall conquer you. Cool. Thanks for taking out my Nissa to eight. So now I can ultimate it next turn. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that doesn't work. Thank you, Tamio. Okay, so all my manas only do one thing, though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I only have nine mana right now. Draw land? Nope, didn't draw land. Um, so nine mana, I'm only stealing two things. Only double yoink. I was going to yoink the Overgrown Tomb and the Nyssa. Ultimate the Nyssa. Be able to play the Land Werewolf also. Hmm. Do we want, like, Negate? I'm gonna just do the same 
same normal thing. Just gonna take out Leafkin Druids for a couple Veils and a couple Negates. I guess I should be playing this card. Huh. Never mind. I guess that card's just a great. Well, darn. What am I, cutting Risen Reef now? Yeah, Melody could be useful in the deck. We're we're doing uh, rotation-proof decks, and so Melody rotates, so there's no Melody here. Um, but yeah, like if you're if you don't care about that, if you want to play your hinch, you know play Hinchland Harbors instead of Falls, and yeah, Melody's a good card. I cut cut Risen Reef, I guess. I don't know if I really like that cutting Risen Reef that is. Grizzle. Do I really want to bottom that? Not really. Nah, yeah, still will. Yeah, it's like it'll likely be Thought Erasure on Ashiok. That would be really nice if it's not though. Ooh, it's not. That's good. Get rid of something good to Yeah, get rid of that thing. Alright, we'll see if they have Thought Erasure on three. Hopefully not. They do Thought Erasure away Ashiok. Of course, Tamio gets our Ashiok back. They could just have Negate, though. But I'm jamming. They could have waited until I minused first and then Veil of Summered. That could have been a thing they did with their life. Behold. A lot of Veil of Summers. Remember your nightmares. Let us see if your talents are worth. Let me aid your research. More Ashiok. <laughs> That's it. Final boss defeated. Our Nightmare Weaver. Getting it done. And we're getting our 2100 gold and a 40 gems. So our best performing rotation proof deck. Yeah, so you have to target them with Ash Ashiok does target, it's target player. So I have to target my opponent. So like whenever I put that target on the stack with a minus one, then they then they cast that card that they cast, and then that uh, ability gets countered, basically. So if, they're, if their pla plan was Veil of Summer, wait till I minus one and target them, and then Veil of Summer in response there. Okay. So, yeah. Um, definitely a strong-looking deck here. What we learned today is Mass Manipulation is still a messed-up card. Wow. Where we just wrecking people with Mass Manipulation, even with the Veil of Summers and everything. I think right now people aren't really expecting it too much because you don't really play against manipulation decks very much. So I think this is like a, a good time to be playing it because people aren't really expecting it. Um, obviously, if you want to make the deck better, if you don't want to just worry about rotation-proof stuff, you know, get rid of Thornwood Falls, play um, Hinch of the Harbor instead. And then, yeah, sideboard, you can have like Ripjaw Raptor and Entrancing Melody are some good cards against aggro in this deck. 
Um, either Gus, Brontodon are, are kind of like the weaker cards here. Um, but still pretty, pretty good little league there. Pretty sweet little deck. All right, so that's Rotation Proof Monday. So if you're watching this one later on YouTube, uh, d one, you know, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But then also let me know how you liked Rotation Proof Monday and, and if you have um, other decks that you really want me to make for the Rotation Proof uh, series, let me know. Next Monday, we'll, I'll be making four new decks for it and then each Monday here in August. So all, all four Mondays in August, I'll be making four decks for this series. So we'll have 16 rotation proof decks for y'all there. Um, so there, there we go. All right, so that's Simic Yoink. So if you're watching, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.